Hi, this is Focus Biology and I am Barun Prabhat. In this video, I am going to describe different proteins that are involved in muscle contractions. This is my lecture outline. Muscle proteins Contractile proteins, myosin, actin Regulatory proteins, tropomyosin, troponin Structural proteins, titin, alpha-actinin, myomacin, nebulin, and dystrophin And summary of the lecture Muscle proteins now, myofibrils are built from three kinds of proteins. They are contractile proteins. They are able to generate force. It means they are responsible for force generation. Second, regulatory proteins. They are responsible for on and off process of muscle contraction third types or third type structural proteins they form a structural framework they include nebulin titin desmin etc they keep thick and thin filaments in proper alignment Again, they are responsible for providing myofibril elasticity and extensibility. It means what extent it can stretch. Again, they are responsible for linking of myofibrils to sarcolemma and extracellular matrix. Next. Now, we will see contractile proteins. They are of two types. One is called myosin, another is actin. Myosin constitutes thick filaments, while actin constitutes thin filaments. Myosin here, this is the structure of myosin molecule. You can see it. This is a motor protein. It has a molecular weight of 520,000. It has two ends. One is called C terminus or carboxy terminus. Another is called A terminus or amino terminus. It is made up of two alpha helices. These are two alpha helices which are supercoiled and four light chains here one and two two on each alpha helices it means it it has six subunits two heavy chains these are alpha subunits and four light chains here it is one two three and four four light chains with twenty thousand molecular weight each single thick filament contains about 300 myosin molecules in skeletal muscles Next, now we will see heavy chains. This is the heavy chains. Here it is. This one. It is made up of two alpha helices. Alpha helices are wrapped around each other in a left-handed manner. 
right they are coiled coil fiber structure this is its c terminus end its diameter at c terminus end is about 2 nanometer alpha helices made up of two parts one is called tail which is about 150 nanometer and another is called head it is about 17 nanometer this region is called head when we treat this myosin molecule with trypsin then this myosin molecules breaks down into two fragments one is called lmm light marrow myosin this region and this one is called heavy marrow myosin h m m heavy marrow myosin if we treat this heavy marrow myosin with papain then again these fragments are formed these are called one is called s2 and this one is called s1 or head myosin head this is responsible for attaching the myosin molecule to actin filament here you can see clearly one light chain another light chain one light chain another light chain that is one two three four four light chains are associated right light chains are globular domains this globular domain have myosin sub fragment one this one s1 myosin head group right they are found at the amino terminus right this globular domain has two sites one is atp hydrolyzing site and another would be the actin binding sites this one next tails of adjacent myosins here this one is the tail tails of adjacent myosins are arranged parallel to one another and they will form shaft here this one is the soft of the thick filament this one is soft and you can see this one this one these are the heads or s1 sub fragments sub units right these are the s1 s1 they put they protrude from the shaft in a spiral manner and this s1 remains in contact with this thin filament actually six thin filaments surrounds one thick filament here it is one thick filament and here it is one here it is one two three four five and six so these are the six thin filaments that surrounds one thick filament right now actin it is the chief component of thin filament actually actin is made up of g actin g stands for globular g actin forms an actin filament called f actin here f stands for filamentous filament f stands for filament so this is the one filament here it is 
and this is the second filament here it is this f actin twists into a helix they form a helix you can see here the both one is this another is this this two f actin filament twists in a spiral manner here it is right G-actin is a globular protein. G-actin is a globular protein like this. It has two sides. One is called myosin binding site. Here I am indicating M B S for myosin binding site. And another site is the ATP hydrolyzing site. A H S. A here stands for ATP, H stands for hydrolyzing, and S stands for site. So this actin molecule has two sites one is called mbs myosin binding site another is called ahs atp hydrolyzing site again this thin filament has polarity one is called palisind and another is called minusind at minusind tpm this is called tropomodulin protein. Tropomodulin protein is, for, is present. It stabilizes its structure. At plus end, cap Z protein, this cap G protein is formed. This one, right? So, this actin filament is stabilized by two proteins one is cap g protein on placent and another is tropomodulin on minus end actin filaments of each half sarcomere are aligned with their barbed ends linked to g lines that is this cap g and is attached to the G line. Attachment with the G disc is also supported by alpha actinin, alpha actinin, dasmine, and vimentin. These three proteins also help in associating this thin filament to the G disc. Next, 